Hi, all brothers and sisters. This is James Shaper from Shepherds for Christ. And uh, today I'm just going to give you guys an update as to our plans for 2021, as to how the Lord has revealed things. But before we do that, let us close our eyes in a word of prayer. And I'm going to read a scripture that's been put on my mind to share with you all in regards to this mission and outreach. Uh, and then I'll just highlight four points that have been written down to give an idea as to what we're going to be doing moving forward in this year. All right, let's close our eyes. And Neil, if possible. Thank you to Heavenly Father in Heaven for this opportunity to provide an update to our supporters and our sponsors, our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ around the world. Lord, I just thank you for this opportunity that you will just empty me of me and that self will go out the window and that it will be you that reigns in my heart, in my mind and out of my mouth. You said within the same hour, you'll give us what you say. Lord, I pray that you will lead us to your word, that you'll lead us to this update and that those that may hear and see may be touched by it and continue to support us in this work. Lord, this is your work. We are just the tools. And we thank thee in the name of Jesus and all glory to our Heavenly Father. Amen. Okay. So the scripture that was brought to mind uh, was 2 Corinthians chapter 4. And I'm going to read, I'm going to read it. And um, because it is, it is very much the basis of all ministry. Sorry, there's a fire right now. <laughs> uh, it is the basis of ministry. And what is the basis of all ministry? Christ. Christ is the theme. Um, so I'm going to read, I'm going to read that. It says, therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have not received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. So we are bearing witness to what God has given us to share to them. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Jesus' sake. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Now I'm going to leave it at that. Um, the rest of it really just uh, talks about trials abounding in the ministry. And we will get to that at a later point. As the trials happen, <laughs> the scripture will be used to give us excitement as to how God is going to use us through those trials. So just to highlight some points on this ministry moving forward, um, as you know, we were planning to, well, not just planning, we did, we literally did it. <laughs> we got rid of all our furniture, got rid of all our main items, uh, kept it to the bare basics and moved out of the house where we were, uh, where we had much trials. <laughs> the Lord tests us through it all. And um, we moved to the idea of being on the road full time and uh, getting a camper van or at least a vehicle that is worthy of traveling uh, with a trailer or camping trailer um, and to go out and do outreach. It seems that the Lord is holding on that for the moment and really pushing on my mind to reach out to those around here in this community. Um, I stay in Pretoria, Pretoria East specifically, um, just outside of Pretoria East on the farming areas in the farming community. Uh, it's actually an equestrian area where there's a lot of horses and people that own horses. And there are a lot of um, foreign workers that work here on these farms, predominantly Malawian and Zimbabwean uh, men and women. And there is a great need to reach out to them and even to the farmers as a whole 
Um, but this is the focus that has been brought to my attention since I've been here. And this is what it is that the Lord has put on our hearts to do. Uh, before we go out anywhere else, we need to focus on this area. So the first point here is to start an immediate outreach program within our current area, which is Pretoria East. Um, two, uh, reprinting of books, tracts uh, to hand out to the neighborhood. There is interest in it. I've been dealing with uh, a gentleman not far down the road from me. He is a farmer um, and has property here. He is a seemingly wealthy man, but has a true love for the Lord and has been looking for more content with regards to end time prophecy. And he's very interested in Daniel Revelation as I've spoken to him about it and really enlightened his mind about these truths. And he is, you can see that the Lord has really worked with him in a mighty way uh, to come to these truths. And he says that meeting me was really a refreshing experience. And he was very excited. I gave him a book uh, by Ellen White and he's been going through it as a daily devotional. He's been going through it and he's been really enjoying it. So there is an interest. There are people in this area that are actually interested in it and want to know the truth. They do want to know truth. Um, uh, three, four weeks ago, as some of you know, uh, I've sent an email out to everyone that is a supporter or a fellow brother and sister via email to what's been going on. Um, about three or four weeks ago, I think it's three weeks ago, um, I had a wonderful Sabbath riding on a bicycle and met a Malawian man, which really put me in the opportunity to speak to some brothers and sisters of his that he works with. And they were so happy and so excited about uh, receiving some truth. And I gave him some Bibles and we had some food together and they are very excited for this year to have that continue. So there is also need in that area. And that's really where my focus is at this point. So to hand out, in addition to the purchasing of Bibles, as I mentioned before, um, the theme of outreach, of course, in these areas is based on the Sonship of Christ and the three angels' messages, because this is the last message that is to be given to the world. And we are to start, yeah, before we can branch out. According to the Lord's impression, it is not my will, it is his will, and it needs to be that all the time. The third purpose yeah, is also, of course, to purchase a vehicle. Now, to purchase a camper van is quite an expensive thing. And there is no real need for us to purchase a camper van at this point. Exactly. But we do need a vehicle because we are vehicleless at this moment. I have a wonderful bicycle, which the man I mentioned earlier actually um, bestowed upon me as a gift, which was a lovely gift and has been very helpful. But we do need a vehicle to get around and to make the tasks of this work uh, become a lot easier. Um, as Even if we are to continue to travel around and um, really just reach out to everyone else within other areas. So I'm hoping that we could purchase a four by four vehicle or a vehicle that is four by four capable and they can pull a trailer because like I've mentioned in the email, the four by four vehicle with a trailer would be a lot cheaper, a lot easier to maintain fuel wise and maneuverability. And uh, it will be a more, I could say raw and wholesome experience in natural living uh, than to live in a fancy <laughs> or seemingly fancy um, getaway vehicle like a camper home. Um, the fourth point here is to obviously to keep our supporters and sponsors up to date as to what is going on with our ministry, which is obviously very important uh, so that you guys know exactly what's going on. You know where your tithes and your support financially or even your prayers are going to. So these are the main points I wanted to just highlight and to kind of reiterate as we go into this year 2021. And we know trials are coming. We know trials are coming our way for sure. And um, what I really wanted to do before I go off was to show you some of the books that our brothers Molly and Mark Rabansky from Testimony Press Publications has bestowed upon us. Um, one of them I'm reading quite now is The Life of Victory. It's a beautiful book. Um, really gives me a sense of victory in the life of Christ. 
It's a beautiful book. My wife has just finished um, the book Perpetual, the Perpetuity of Spiritual Gifts. She loved that. Uh, I've got the box next to me here. And um, these are all books that we, there's a lot. I'm not going to go through all of them, but there's a lot here. Um, and I'm just going to kind of bring out some of the ones that I can see on the top. There is Testimony for the Church, uh, Volume 1 to 10. We plan on reprinting this. There is Solemn Appeal, relative to solitary vice, the abuse and excesses of the marriage relation, because this is a problem for the world as a whole. It's not just for fellow brothers and sisters within the faith. It is a problem as a whole in the world. So these would be very useful. Uh, the Bible Examiner, containing various prophetic expositions from 1843. This would be very useful in people understanding prophetic substance and being able to give them a guide on how to examine the Bible. Um, the Falling of the Latter Rain, which would be very important as to what's going to be happening where God is going to bestow the fullness of his Holy Spirit as he did in the day of Pentecost. Um, uh, things like the Advent Shield and Review from 1844, which is a good understanding as to how God used Heinz, Bliss and Hale at that time, which were some of the elders of the Advent movement and how it pertains to how he's going to work with people in this time. So it's really a form of encouragement. Um, we've been given a lot of tracks. Sorry, I'm just grabbing some of the tracks. Yeah, it's a lot. It is a lot. <laughs> Bless you, Mark and Molly. We love you so very much for this gift. Um, all right, so things like the miracle of the lemon, which is for health purposes. There would be things like the great sickness of the last days. How can we be safe? This would probably be, be helpful with regards to being healthy and being aware of the sicknesses, even things like COVID. So people that struggle with tobacco, um, giving up of tobacco. Uh, why am I a vegetarian? Which is what I personally choose, preference. As Neil Nandy likes to say, for increased intellect and intelligence. Um, the pig's resume. This is a lot of pamphlets, as you can see. I need to print a lot more. Um, the dangers of eating pork, which is specific to worms and trichinosis, which is an incurable disease still to this day and can be quite dangerous if you were to contract it. Uh, also things like what's new in the New King James Version Bible in comparison to the authentic 1911 King James. Um, this is a beautiful one, the personality of God, which would be very useful in helping people understand who it is that they serve and who it is that they love. And um, I'm still to go through it, and I'm looking forward to it. There's actually a few books that I've already taken out that are on the shelf that I'm ready to read the moment I'm done with this one. The Redeemer and Redeemed or the Plan of Redemption through Christ from 1877. This is by James White. Um, also, End Time Snares, Labor Unions, Trusts and Confederacies. Um, also, a tract showing that the seventh day should be observed as the Sabbath instead of the first day, which would be very important and powerful for people that choose to worship on Sunday and are even adamant about it. Um, it helps give clarity as to why we do not do that. So there are a lot. This would be very useful in uh, helping to do Bible studies with regards to these black gentlemen that are from Malawi um, to further in their Bible studies, the Bible class lessons upon the law of God and the faith of Jesus by uh, Cottrell. So this would be very useful in dealing with them. So we've got a lot of other pamphlets. Uh, why speak against the churches? Bible facts, standing alone versus group thinking, things like that. But there is a lot. And uh, we plan to... Um, going to mass production and i believe that brother quinton and brother angela van der nest are very interested in publishing 
or taking other publishing works here in South Africa, because we are not aware of anyone that's publishing these kinds of this kind of literature or tracks. And the only the, the only thing is they are at a distance from us. We stay in the Gauteng province, which is middle to northern, middle to northern uh, provinces. They are on the coast. I think uh, KwaZulu Natal or Eastern Cape. I'm, I can't remember. So. So they are at a distance from us. So we actually need to get some of this stuff to them. I'm not sure if Molly and Mark have posted them any books, but I intend on getting some copies sent to, to make some copies here and then to go to uh, Quentin and Angela and to discuss with them, actually visit them and discuss them. This is why we also need the vehicle uh, sooner rather than later. And um, I can't wait to get started. I'm really excited to get this work going. So this is just to give you guys, basically, like I said, to give an update as to what these our plans are for this year. Um, so yes, this is exciting work and we need to get to it post haste. Um, the sooner the better. The Lord is waiting on us to share these things with, with others. doesn't matter who it is. And to, to share it boldly and proudly. And as I read in Corinthians now, there are those that will hear and then those that will not. The choice is theirs. But we are still to do the work. No excuses. Time is short. And um, if any of you have watched Plea by Fire by Michael McCaffrey, I showed it to my mother-in-law and my father-in-law today. It was a, quite an eye-opener for them. They are new to all of this themselves and are very excited. It was a bit of a trembling thing to watch. But we are coming to a time where God is going to really test us and try us by fire. And if you read 1 Corinthians chapter 3, it talks about fire. And I believe that the Lord is talking about literal fire. And he's going to try us um, according to the things that we believe and know as if we as in the point of if we truly are doing his work and are preserved by him or if we are not and serving self and will be tried by fire. So I encourage you to read 1 Corinthians chapter 3 um, with regards to the trying of fire. It mentions fire, I think, more than, six, more than five or six times. It's quite a read. So I just want to also thank um, those that have sponsored towards the Bibles. And... Um, I plan to be buying a lot more Bibles within this next week or two. I'm looking for a place that will be able to sponsor and, well, not sponsor, sorry, um, that will be able to give it to me at a discount price, um, preferably from India or any other place would be at a very cheaper uh, amount. If not, it's fine. The Lord will provide the finance to purchase them as we go. Uh, I'm not worried about the amounts. I'm really worried about just getting the Bibles and being able to get it out to those that need them. Um, time is short. Time is of the essence. So please pray for that. Please I ask that you will uh, continue to pray for that and continue to lift us up to the Lord and continue to support us uh, financially possible. Uh, I'm a massage therapist. I try to be of service through my massage work, but it has been very difficult because of this COVID-19. Uh, people are very skittish as to me touching them or even being close in their vicinity. And uh, also people are not very knowledgeable on massage and the usage and the uh, health principles that come from it. Also in regards to work, I assist, I'm actually assisting a friend of mine in doing some air, putting some air cons in this week. So I am busy and trying to get some finances uh, produced with my hands, which the Lord has given me. But my main work is to do ministry this is what the lord has called us to do so this is it we are in 2021 may the lord bless us and richly be with us in all aspects of our lives mind body and soul and um i'm excited can't wait to get started in fact i've already started but i can't wait to continue in getting started so i'm just going to close off with a word of prayer once more and i pray that this will be an encouragement to you all and um, yeah, my wife and my daughter will be on the next update. Um, she's currently serving her mom. We've got her mom and them visiting at this moment. So let's close with a word of prayer. 
I thank you to Heavenly Father in Heaven once again for this opportunity to share your word and to share our plans, which are really your plans, Lord. I don't want to do that which is my own will, but to do your will. And it is but day by day as I surrender self that you make more of your plan available for me to understand and for me to execute. And that you give me the power and the character to be of loving kindness and to be of bold standing and stature to those around me, whether it be family, neighbor, friend, or stranger. I pray the Lord that you will just continue to be with every single one of us as we grow as the remnants of God at this time. And that you will just continue to strengthen us from within to without. And uh, may we be instant in season and out of season, no matter how. May we just do it to your glory and on always. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, and the glory of our Heavenly Father. Amen.